Dr. Jaffe, what are the benefits of uh, an Epsom salt and baking soda bath? Well, the benefits are relaxation, including relaxing little muscles called piloerector muscles on the surface of your skin. And when these muscles relax in the presence of magnesium and an alkalinizing baking soda. So to start with, what is this? Epsom salt? You may have heard of Epsom salt for topical um, pain relief. You take half a cup of Epsom salt and half a cup of baking soda, and you put it in a warm tub of water. Warm to make you pink like a baby, not red like a lobster. And if you don't have a tub, you can arrange a personal sweat cabinet wherein you put your feet in Epsom salts and baking soda, and you let the steam carry the benefits to you. So not everyone has a bathtub anymore. The functional benefit is you get to relax deeply. And we recommend while you're in the tub, five minutes of abdominal breathing, breathe like a baby for five minutes, and then 15 minutes of relaxation response or meditation or mindfulness practice, whatever uh, attracts you. Then you get out of that salt and soda bath. Oh, and I should mention, if you have a tendency to have dry skin or just your preference is to have an aromatic oil that will evaporate a little bit into the atmosphere of right around you, you can use a few drops of lavender oil or a few drops of other oils. If you have a, a sinus condition, you might want to try eucalyptus, but just a few drops. And again, cold pressed, organic or biodynamic. So there are many uh, detailed benefits, including that magnesium in the presence of bicarbonate, so you get the salt and soda. Magnesium can be taken up by these pores of the skin because the skin is much more than a wrapper. The skin is actually the largest, largest organ of your body and is an accessory organ of detoxification and uh, assimilation. So lots of benefits from salt and soda baths. We've been recommending them for decades. They are coming more into vogue, into fashion, into trending, and we're glad of that. But this is among the least expensive, most valuable things you can do to prepare to transition from being active in the day to being ready for restorative sleep. Restorative sleep is enhanced by salt and soda baths and this protocol or program that I'm recommending. It's outlined in our book, How to Thrive in the 21st Century. It's part of the very important transition from being active during the day to being deeply ready for restorative sleep when your body can repair itself and surveil and test out uh, to make sure that all the parts of you are renewing and repairing adequately. It's Restorative sleep is that important. What else about salt and soda baths? If you wanted to put a cup each rather than a half a cup each, that would be okay. But more is not necessarily better. We want to achieve a certain level of ionized magnesium in the water with bicarbonate alkalinizing the bath. And then the magic happens. 